In more than 70% of the world's airspace, air traffic controllers still rely on visual position reports, flight plans, and estimated locations to track aircraft due to line of sight limitations of ground-based surveillance, like mountains, oceans, and with low altitude flying. That will soon change. Arion is creating the first 100% global air traffic surveillance system, delivering real-time aircraft positions in every flight information region in the world through Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast, or ADSB. International mandates already require the vast majority of aircraft to transmit their position using ADSB. The Arion system will seamlessly turn these signals into aircraft on the screens of air traffic controllers across the globe. In fact, integration into some of the leading air traffic platforms is already underway. The entirety of the Arion system goes live as early as 2018. That's when Iridium, a longtime global leader in satellite and air traffic communications technology, is scheduled to complete the deployment of Iridium Next, a cutting-edge constellation of 66 satellites set in low Earth orbit. The first 10 Iridium Next satellites successfully launched on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket in January 2017. Ushering in a new era in air traffic control with billions of aircraft, ADSB messages received with incredible precision, speed, and reliability in locations where they were previously invisible and with transponders that use less power than a microwave. Here's how it works. An aircraft ADSB transponder independently transmits its GPS position once every half second. The Arion payload receives the ADSB data from the aircraft and transfers it through a proprietary and resilient space network provided by the Iridium Next constellation, which sends it to the ground for processing. With Arion, air traffic controllers will receive an independent layer of surveillance covering 100% of their sector in a data format they're familiar with, but with improved accuracy and speed compared to traditional ground-based radar. There are multiple benefits of this harmonized, reliable, real-time air traffic surveillance service. First, purely procedural routes will be a thing of the past. Arian will empower air traffic controllers to help aircraft fly more efficient routes, altitudes, and speeds. This will save time and fuel eliminating the emission of roughly 14 million metric tons of carbon dioxide between 2020 and 2030. That's the greenhouse gas equivalent of removing 300,000 cars from U.S. roads each of those years. Second, Arion's system will significantly improve air safety by enabling early detection of possible deviation from cleared altitudes and routes, as well as providing situational awareness across sector boundaries, lower altitudes, and adjoining airspace. Third, Arion's independent layer of space-based ADSB will greatly increase the availability of real-time surveillance during weather events, routine infrastructure maintenance, and other unplanned outages. Finally, Arion's space-based service will provide an alternative to the multiple layers of current ground-based infrastructure, reducing maintenance costs, risk, and complexity. The future of air traffic surveillance is coming soon. To learn more about these benefits and what space-based ADSB can do for you, visit Arion.com. In an age of global positioning satellites and instant wireless communications, tracking aircraft in oceanic airspace remains hampered by limited air traffic control surveillance. In the coming years, advances in surveillance technology will change how aircraft are monitored in oceanic airspace, resulting in a quantum leap in airspace efficiency, fuel savings, and reductions to greenhouse gas emissions. Currently, close to 1,200 aircraft a day carry passengers and cargo across the North Atlantic, making it the busiest oceanic corridor in the world. Because ground-based surveillance is limited to coastal areas, Aircraft are managed using air traffic control rules that require large spacing between them. For this reason, traffic over the North Atlantic follows highly structured routes known as the North Atlantic Track System. The tracks are developed based on a number of factors, the most important being the jet stream. Tracks to Europe use the jet stream to their advantage by routing along the strongest tailwinds, reducing jet fuel consumption. The tracks from Europe to North America are designed to avoid the headwinds caused by the jet stream. 
The tracks are designed to maintain lateral separation of one degree, which is approximately 60 nautical miles. Aircraft following on the same track must be spaced 10 minutes apart, approximately 80 nautical miles from the aircraft in front of them. Vertical separation of 1,000 feet must be maintained between aircraft above or below. As they transit the ocean, aircraft provide position reports of their actual locations, either through data link or voice. Air traffic controllers use those position reports to monitor and manage traffic in the airspace. The aircraft track is then projected based on their known speed and altitude until the next position report is received. This highly structured environment provides little flexibility for pilots to request changes to altitudes and speeds or make adjustments to their route. But that is all about to change. In 2018, a new satellite constellation will provide seamless coverage to the entire globe. ADSB units on board each satellite will receive position reports from aircraft and continuously transmit those signals to air traffic controllers, enabling aircraft to be tracked in areas currently without surveillance. Space-based ADSB will revolutionize the way air traffic is managed over oceans and in remote areas of the world. It will enable air traffic controllers and airlines to optimize air operations in these areas. This new capability is ideally suited to enhancing the efficiency of flights transiting the busy North Atlantic. With positive surveillance data on aircraft location, air traffic controllers will be able to permit flights to safely fly closer together like they do in domestic airspace. Controllers will have the ability to offer more flexibility to pilots to fly direct routes or to adjust their path en route to avoid significant weather or better take advantage of the winds. When space-based ADSB is available in 2018, full and continuous surveillance will have a dramatic impact on how transatlantic air traffic is managed. The result will be a quantum leap in customer benefits with increased safety, big fuel savings, and substantially reduced greenhouse gas emissions. This is just one of the many ways in which NAV Canada is leading positive change and making improvements to its services in order to deliver value to the people behind each and every one of those flight movements, our customers and their passengers, the flying public.